Hey Pepper Gang, base building in Scum as a solo player can be tedious, riskier than hiding loot in stashes around the map, but it also has benefits such as ability to farm, have somewhere to store a vehicle, build a workbench and water well, and more. If you're wanting to build a base in Scum, but not sure to how to go about it, some of these tips might come in handy. I am using my latest base, which is stood on rated on a populated server for over 30 days, as an example, but I use a lot of these pointers in most of my bases. Without further ado, let's get into it. Number 1. Look Poor You don't want to look tempting to raid, especially as a solo. It already takes so long to build a base. If you look at my base, I never upgraded the outer wall, I only upgraded the bottom floor and floors and ceilings to metal, and I wanted anyone passing by to look at my base at first glance and I assume I don't have much. I like to go over the top and put a sign saying I got raided already in the front. I'm not sure if the sign has been effective, but it doesn't hurt. Now just because you're selling the idea of looking poor, still put as many gold locks, zappers on all your doors, but you want that outer appearance to sell the idea that you're poor and are not worth raiding. Tip number two, use a small footprint for your base. The bigger the base, the more tempting it is to raid it. A bigger footprint will make it harder and more expensive to lockpick and blow up walls, but on the contrary, raid materials, screwdrivers are valuable, and most raiders want to get a return for their efforts. If raiders see a small base compared to a bigger one, they're most likely going to go to the bigger one because they're going to assume there's more loot. Again, the main goal is to try to sell the idea you're poor solo with a tiny base. Number 3 location is key. If you build next to save zones, popular points of interest, bunkers, there's a higher chance of foot traffic and someone seeing your base. The whole goal of your location is to not be seen. I suggest not using prefabs and making custom bases in the middle of the woods away from popular spots. Also use the environment to your advantage. I built the specific base in a small divot valley where it looks smaller than it actually is and it's harder to spot from roads and the river next to it and I also picked the dense forest that provides a lot of cover. Combine this with the previous two tips and you're going to be well on your way. Tip number four, instead of stairs, use large cupboards to climb floors. They fit so much loot and require less space than stairs. Tip number five, seal the floors. Scum allows us to destroy structures at any time, so if you want to take extra precautions for your base, incorporate this floor sealing technique into your builds. The mats are cheap to replace, even if you only upgraded once, and the point of this is to make a raid even more expensive. If someone lockpicks your base and manages to get in through a floor, they still won't be able to get all your loot if you sealed it without explosives, making it more expensive to raid, and they might not even know there's hidden loot behind a floor or a wall. Tip number six, have a proper kitchen. Ever since exhaustion got added, having proper meals goes a long way to combat it in scum. So I like to have multiple grills so I can cook multiple meals at the same time. And the footprint for all these grills is quite small. In this space, I was able to fit it all on one table. Tip number seven, limit height and width of your base. Similar to number two, as a solo, you don't need much space. Try to make the most of every nook and cranny in your base. The wider and taller you go, the more likely someone spots your base from further away. I found three floors to be a sweet spot for me. It was enough room for a bed, workbench, storage, and a kitchen. I even have a small garden on the side, but as you can see, my perimeter wall is as tight as possible to it, so I didn't look too wide from the outside. Tip number eight, have a point of interest to farm nearby. You want to be able to farm craftable supplies, metal scrap, and common supplies as often as possible, so having one town or point of interest nearby to hit often is almost a must for me as a solo player. Being able to make a quick run within 5-10 to 10 minutes for metal scrap makes life so much easier. I usually just choose random towns in the middle of the map to live next to. Tip number 9, take fresh water into account. I typically live near rivers or at least a pond, so I can always have fresh water to drink, which is one less thing to worry about. Plus, fishing is a very easy way to get constant food instead of relying on the hunting minigame. And if you find a boat, it can make life as a solo so much easier and being able to park it near your home will make traveling and journeys a lot faster. I think the boat is one of the easier vehicles to acquire as a solo, so take this into account next time you're building a new base. And finally, number 10, Plant mines inside your base, not just on the outside. I like to build rugs and try to put mines underneath them. I also hit a mine inside my flag and a few behind loot boxes. The whole point of this is as a last resort, last stand move to make it expensive and tedious to steal from you. Raiders might give up on your base if they keep dying inside to well hidden mines. Most people don't expect them on the inside. And no, you won't trigger them if they are in your build circle. That's it for these tips, guys. I hope as a solo scum player, you pick something up, something useful for your next base build. And if you're looking for more scum content, check out my playlist suggested here at the end. Thank you and have a wonderful day.